Yo, what's up, YouTube fam? Today, we're diving into one of the most iconic pieces of American engineering, the V8 engine. In a world that's going all electric and hybrid, the V8 is still out here holding its ground. But how? Let's break it down. First, let's go back to the 1930s. When Ford rolled out the flathead V8, it changed the game forever. Before then, engines were either too big, too slow, or too expensive. But Ford made power affordable. The V8 wasn't just an engine, it was a symbol of freedom. You were no longer just driving, you were owning the road. From then on, the V8 became synonymous with American culture. It wasn't just about horsepower, it was about that feeling you get when the engine growls beneath you. That V8 rumble? Man, that's something you can't replicate. And that's exactly what's kept the V8 alive all these years. All right, let's jump to the 1960s and 70s, the golden age of muscle cars. This is where the V8 really flexed its muscles. We had the Chevy Camaro, the Ford Mustang, the Dodge Charger, all packing V8s that tore up the streets. These weren't just cars, they were machines of rebellion, power, and pride. What made these engines so special? Well, it was all about torque. You'd hit the gas and boom, you're pressed back into your seat. V8 engines in these muscle cars delivered instant, raw power, and that's something that still hits different today. It wasn't just speed, it was about how the engine made you feel. Every rev was like a heartbeat for the American car scene. And it wasn't just about performance, it was about sound. That deep, rumbling growl is iconic. No other engine sounds quite like a V8. In fact, car enthusiasts say, if you can't hear it, are you really driving? The V8 growl makes sure everyone knows you're around. Fast forward to today, and the V8 is still in the spotlight. Just look at the Dodge Hellcat or the Mustang GT. These cars pack 700 plus horsepower. But here's the kicker. Today's V8s aren't just about brute strength anymore. They've evolved. Modern V8s are smarter. Many of them come with cylinder deactivation technology. What's that? Basically, when you're cruising and don't need all that power, the engine can shut down half its cylinders to save fuel. That's right. V8 engines today balance power with efficiency. You're still getting all that torque when you want it, but you're not burning fuel like crazy when you don't need it. For example, take the Chevy Silverado and Ford F-150 trucks. These bad boys still use V8s to deliver towing power and performance, but they're also fitted with technologies that make them more fuel efficient than ever before. So, anyone telling you that V8s are outdated because of gas guzzling? Yeah, they're stuck in the past. All right, we've all heard it. The future is electric. And hey, electric cars are fast. We've got Teslas out here beating muscle cars off the line. But let me ask you something. When was the last time you felt that visceral feeling in an EV? Yeah, electric motors can go zero to 60 in three seconds, but they do it silently. Where's the fun in that? You're not getting that deep roaring growl from a battery. The V8, that thing screams power and it's all about the experience. Every time you hit the gas, you feel like you're commanding a force of nature. You can't replicate that. Electric cars are cool, don't get me wrong, but there's something about that primal roar that makes the V8 the king of engines. You can hear it from blocks away. It's loud, proud, and unapologetic. And that's why enthusiasts aren't ready to give it up just yet. Let's talk about legacy. The V8 isn't just a powerful engine, it's a cultural icon. Think about the Ford Mustang, the Chevy Corvette, and the Dodge Challenger. These cars have been around for decades and every single one of them owes its reputation to the V8. These engines gave birth to the American muscle car culture. It wasn't just about speed, it was about attitude. The V8 was the heartbeat of the muscle car era. And even today, the legacy lives on. Take the Chevy LS and Ford Coyote V8 engines. These things have powered everything from street racers to dragsters. The V8 isn't just a relic of the past, it's the engine that's still pushing boundaries today. Car shows, street races, drag strips, you'll still hear the roar of V8s dominating the scene. But let's not forget, the V8 isn't just for muscle cars. Trucks and SUVs have relied on the V8 for years to get things done. Think about the Chevy Silverado or the Ram 1500. These trucks depend on the V8's torque for towing and hauling heavy loads. Sure, there are V6 options now, but when it comes to pulling a trailer or plowing through mud, the V8 remains king. Here's why. Torque. The V8 delivers that low-end grunt that makes towing easy. Plus, trucks like the Ford F-150 and Chevy Tahoe still offer V8 engines because they're tough, reliable, and can handle the heavy lifting. 
And with today's technology, these engines are more fuel efficient than ever before, which means you can get the job done without emptying your wallet at the gas station. If you're a gearhead, you already know. The V8 is a canvas for creativity. You can do so much with it. From adding a supercharger to tuning the exhaust, the V8 is perfect for modification. You want more horsepower? Done. You want a louder exhaust? Easy. The V8 can be customized in so many ways, which is why it's still the favorite among car enthusiasts. Working on a V8 engine is almost a rite of passage for car enthusiasts. Whether it's building a hot rod or swapping out parts for better performance, the V8 is the engine you want under the hood when you're ready to take your car to the next level. Now let's get real. The future of cars is changing and even the V8 is evolving. Enter the hybrid V8. Imagine cruising down the street using electric power, saving fuel, and then wham, you switch to full V8 power. That's what we're talking about with hybrid V8S. It's like having the best of both worlds. Car companies are starting to experiment with this concept and it's exciting. You don't have to sacrifice that V8 sound or power, but you also get the benefits of electric technology. This isn't just speculation, it's the future. Imagine a world where you can hit the gas and hear all eight cylinders roar while still being eco-friendly. That's what's coming and I'm here for it. Let's address the elephant in the room. Is the V8 dying? While some automakers are moving away from V8ES, there's no denying that the V8 is far from dead. Manufacturers like Ford, Dodge, and Chevrolet are still offering V8 engines in their top models. Whether it's the Mustang GT, the Chevy Camaro, or the Dodge Charger Hellcat, these cars are keeping the V8 legacy alive. And with hybrid V8s on the horizon, the V8 isn't just sticking around. It's evolving. The king isn't ready to give up the throne just yet. All right, we've covered a lot today. We talked about the history, the tech, the culture, and the future of the V8 engine. From the Ford Flathead to the Dodge Hellcat, the V8 has been, and always will be, the heartbeat of American power. Now, I wanna hear from you. What's your favorite V8-powered car? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm reading all of them. And before you go, you know what to finish what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like if you're loving the content and ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. We've got more car culture, engine deep dives, and horsepower coming your way. And trust me, you don't want to miss out. Thanks for rolling with me today, fam. Keep that V8 rumbling loud and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.